So my name is Ira and I'm in second grade. Today in class, I made RGB LED mobile control and I really like it. I hope you like it with me. I'll show you how to do it, it with me. So here's how you do it. Make code Microsoft, well Microsoft Make Code. Click on Microsoft Make Code for Microbit and then it'll start, click new project. And then you'll get this screen, but it's gonna say start and forever. You're just gonna delete those blocks. So first you need to go to extensions and you're gonna click import file. And then since it says no file choose, then you're gonna click choose file. You're gonna click microbit devices. And then there, now you say go, click go ahead. It's gonna say remove radio or remove boot. Booth, you're just gonna click remove radio. There you go, devices is right there. Now go to device and put four game pad buttons, four of them. The first one, let it be, and the second one, put B down. A uh, third one, put C down. I'll just put it down here. C down, and then Fourth one, put D down. And then you're gonna click advanced and go to pins. And then you're gonna put three digital right pin to P0. Just put three of them in each and I'll that was go ahead and do it. Put three of them in each, like one in A down, one in B down, and one in C down, and one in D down. After this activity, you can try it with analog right pin too. If you want to do a little experiment. After I do the code, I'll show you how to do it, like how to connect it with your microbit into your CAD. I'm just gonna use normal pins on Tinkercad, but you use for this alligator pins. Next, you see P0, P0, the second and third one on each one. Change one of the second one to P1 and then the third one to P2. Do that on all of them. Whoa, I mean, that's not really... Next, on A, but on gamepad button A down, put P1 to one. Whoa. On the second one, and put P1 to on. On the thir third one, no, we're gonna do P2 to on. And on gamepad and button D down, when we are going, So, so we're gonna have math, and then we're going to put pick random, pick random in all three of them, just like I'm doing right here. There we go. And then change the number 10 to 255 on all of them. 255. Oh, sorry. 255. There. 
That's how you make it. Now you have to go into basics and take this one and put it right after D down and put it to 500 MS. There, that's how you make it. Now you're gonna download that code to your microbit. Now let me show you how to make it on Tinkercad. This is a whole new tab. Whew. You're gonna type Tinkercad. Yep, right there. Online CAD, you're gonna click the first link. It's gonna get loading. Sorry, I might have to log in. Um, I'm just going to do a finger pad because I'm Oh, and there you go. That's my thing. Now, for circuits, I'm just gonna put that, okay? And my new design, circuit. There, now it's gonna like, do that, it's loading. Ooh. Okay, so first we need a micro bit. We're gonna move that over here. Now, we need a RGB LED. We're gonna add that right there. So we're gonna take this one, and we're gonna take L and join it to G and D. And I'm just gonna change the color of this this. Right. Oh, let's see. Color, I think I'll just put black. Now, I'll put another one, and that's red, so I'll change this to red after. And we want to connect this one to please P0, and we're going to change the color to red. Next, we're going to take blue and put it here at P1, right there. And we're now going to change the color to blue. There we go. Now we're going to, this is one is green, and we're going to connect it to P2. And then we're going to change it to green, so we know it's what. Next, yeah, that's how you do it. You connect it like this, but instead with alligator pins. So go ahead and connect it like this. Next, let's go back. Let's download this once again, because this might not have kind of stayed that long. Now, I'm going to show you how it is. Okay. It download it one more time. And see when you click. Oh, can you see that? Okay. One second. My link broke. One sec. When you click A, it's going to show blue. When you click C, you click B, it's gonna show green. And then D, it's gonna show a random color like white or pink or purple or something like that. One sec, I stopped, I forgot to connect that. There. Next, that's how you do it. I'll go over it one more time. A is blue, B is green, C is red, and D is a, any color, random color. Now I'll show you it on the phone. So you're gonna have to go to this, this and you're gonna have to click micro bit and you'll 
get to this, I'll go back home and do that one more time. You're gonna have to click my, go to that list, and you might have to connect your micro bit. My micro bit's already connected. You're gonna click monitor and control, and you see how it's gonna show this? So then you're just gonna click start at the bottom. See that? Click start and it's gonna connect. There, mine is connected. So when I click A, look, my my RGB LED is showing blue. I can't show you because I can't do it with Julian, but I'll try my best. So blue. Oh. Oh. When I click, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna show you on this one. Once, okay. So then you're gonna click B. If you click B, it's showing green. And if you click C, it's gonna show red. And finally, if you click in D, it's gonna show you a random color. So that's how you make the RGB LED mobile control. I hope you like this as much as I do. Oh, and one more thing. Try this code with analog pin and try lots more experiences with it. Thanks for watching.